Again, gunmen raised Imo Attorney General's home. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. After raising the country home of Imo State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice Supreme Akolisa at Obibi Awai Dembele in Oslo local government area of Imo State, gunmen again on Saturday night returned to set fire on one of his houses again and that of his aged father. This time around, according to the commissioner, the hoodlum showed no mercy as they reduced the houses to rubble. Confirming the incident, Ako Ulis accused his Igbo brothers for being responsible for the arson in his house and that of his father's. Ako Ulisa, who wrote on his Facebook wall, said the Igbos are hardworking people who, through their years of toys, put up structures and leave developmental, developmental strides in their community of origin. Through my many years of struggle, I have managed to put a block on another to build a befitting house for my family. My aged father also has a house he built through his sweat. Today, the both buildings are in rubbles and ashes. Our fellow Igbos burnt them. Firstly, last year, this assassin burnt my country home in Obibi, Awai Dembele, or Sioux local government area of Emma State, for no just cause. This year again, they returned, and this time they perfected the complete burning of even the blocks and the bricks. And last night, to my utter consternation, they leveled my father's house. This is a house my father built by himself, the life toil of an aged man. In other words, I wish to put it on record that my family house is completely destroyed. This was after they used a truck to cut all the properties, fridges, TVs, bed, foam, generator set, and other household materials. What am I crime? Who, do I, who did I offend? And what were my father's offenses? And I dare ask, where is the Igbo spirit? This is a direct affront on the Akorolo spirit. Who will invest in Alibo? Ne Osu, Osu local government era today under this type of atmosphere. The above are out of us and ongoing in my local government area of Osu. The complete burning of our local government secretariat. The house of my colleague, Chief Prince Ford Ozumba, the Honorable Commission of Yuma State, Ministry of Libo, Employment and Productivity. The House of Honorable Kene Nodumele, the member representing Osu State constituency in the Imo State House of Assembly. There are also houses of other political leaders that have been raised in my area so far. Other Angoli acts are the sacking and the cutting away of all police presence and amorous in Osu local government area. The kidnapping and killing of war to do individuals and the security operatives. This attendant care has become a daily phenomenon in my local government area. Today, these gunmen, codenamed Umooma under the guise of freedom fighters, have continued to demand huge sums of money from mourning families who wish to bury their loved ones and the like. It is now strictly business. These gunmen have almost made a god of themselves, killing and cannibalizing at will in my area. But believe me, they will not succeed with our voices up and collaborative effort. Where is the Igbo spirit Umonim? It is unfortunate that Majority of those who foment these troubles are not indigenous to Osu but have garnered collaborators and enablers among the locals either through fear, persuasion, financial inducement, and made to swear to devilish oaths of secrecy. It is time to synergize and put an end to the siege in Osu local government area and liberate our people who were worse hit by the economic downturn occasioned by the ravaging insecurity. For enablers and cherers, it is time for the needed retrospect, so searching to interrogate the process so far by weighing the gains and losses. The police spokesperson for the command, Michael Abatam, is here to confirm the incident to the newsman. Now, this is very sad. 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 This is sad because I do not know what else to do. For crying out loud, it is not like the economy is fine. It is not like there had ever been a time in Nigeria where things were working perfectly, where you could make money with ease. Somebody will work and toil for years. Somebody will gather materials. Somebody will gather money at a place and put up a structure saying at least even if my maker calls me today 
I am going to go peacefully knowing that my family will not stay outside under the rain or under the sun. Then these people from God knows where they are going to go and they are going to burn the house completely. How? Why? They kill and the killing is not enough. They have now moved on to destruction of properties. Do you know that even this is killing? Because for, for crying out loud, somebody who has invested a kind of money, somebody who never think that such a thing would happen to him, will wake up one morning and will meet it. And before you know it, the person will just have medical condition. The person BP blood pressure might just go above the roof. And before you know it, the person is gone. What is this people's crime? This man even asked, what is his crime? What exactly is his crime? If these people are from the southeastern people, then I'm sorry, it is a shame. It is a shame. How do I say it is a shame? How do you justify this? Those who are clapping for these people, something is wrong with you. Except you want to tell me that you are eating from your nose and you are breathing from your, from your mouth. That is when I will say, okay, maybe you are not fine. But if you are really rational thinking person and you are cheering for this thing, sincerely, there is something wrong with you. You need to get yourself checked. This one has, okay, fine. Even if it has anything to do with an Ambicano, for crying out loud, if truly... What this man is saying is true. It is very sad. Whether it is the people, it is the Southeasterners themselves that are committing this act, or it is those who came from Marseille that are committing this act, but I tell you, this is getting very serious. Let me tell you, they kill somebody today, or they go to a local government, for instance, and they bond the local government, forgetting that in that local government, your people are working there well. Your fellow South Easterners, they are getting their monthly mega. They are getting their, their, their peanuts from there, using it to sustain themselves and their family. You have collected food from their mouth. Tomorrow, you ask yourself why you don't know what is wrong with you. You don't know what is wrong with you. Karma does not miss. Karma doesn't miss house address. The mail will get to everybody. It is not even come up that um, you, you are going to suffer, no. Exactly what you are doing. You too, I want to believe that one day you are going to put up a structure. You are going to have people. The exact same thing you do is going to give in to you when you little expect. This one is not a cause. They said the measure you give out is the measure you are definitely going to receive. And that is final. The government have refused to do anything about these people. Rather... The killing donors, that is my problem. If you cry out for the government to come, the government to come and kill the innocent ones, leaving those who do this thing out. It is very sad. Southeasterners, stop the stop the the killings and the burning of property. And if the super not southeasterners, whoever you are, this needs to stop. This needs to stop. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.